Hello, viewers. All right, we are at the wrap-up stage of the aquaponics system. Um, I just installed uh, this pipe. Yeah, proposes to allow the water coming back from the grow bed to trickle down and create a uh, aeration for the fishes, right? And exit from that end at the submersible uh, pump. The nickname Ikukumiri D12. Um, let me get some feed to let these guys come to the surface so that um, I can capture them. Okay. Let's see. Okay. I have uh, about a hundred uh, juveniles here. You can see some of the actions there in <laughs> the feed. Let me zoom in a little bit. I hope you can capture them. See them? Some of the parent stocks are also there. But those guys are shy. Okay, so this is all we do, we feed them, uh, the water is um, milky, uh, that's because we just added a 3 feet by 12 feet grow bed, 2 to be precise. So, now feed them they eat the poop and these are two varieties of duckweed by the way um, that's for a different uh, research and it's been proven uh, by what we were able to do <clears throat> we just discovered that we can use duckweed to feed um, most of the livestock here in the farm yeah see those beds so they enjoy the duckweed the duckweed clean up most of the nitrogen waste in the water that's the overflow and this is a five feet by ten feet uh, pond the depth two feet on the shallow end 17 oh sorry 19 inches on the shallow end there is two feet here so i'm going to work on the silencer so that it will be quieter this airport here you can see how the water is being pumped the good thing about this guy this is a 25 mm pipe i reduce it back to 32 mm it can pump a lot of solid and you don't have to clean it. it doesn't have any moving parts whatsoever so that those are the good things about it you can pump a lot of solid so this is our biofilter uh, biofilter and also the main reason is the mechanical filter uh, from here the water exit by gravity and feed these two grow beds and you can see how clear the surface is yeah so we exit by two inch so we are down here <clears throat> this is it trickling here back Trickling here and going back. Just got this off the shelf. I'm going to plant them. Just leave it here until it roots, and then I'll plant it out. The good thing about this system is that 
it's very easy to do some people have called it sand ponics some whatever name you want to call it so we use a mixture of uh, 20 mm granite and this uh, river sand we got it from a river stream down there got it washed to the best of our capacity and made these ridges just these two and allow the water trickle down there so the idea is to grow plants here <clears throat> to remove excess of the nitrogen and grow them very well so we're going to see how these plants will grow but i know they're going to grow fantastically well we'll have anything from ginger to turmeric garlic uh, onions most root crops uh, cucumber i'm gonna get those seeds and plant them out uh, bitter leaf and um, scent leaf we use them a lot here in the farm and for our own personal consumption too so the water exit from this two inch pipe down and out back to the pond and this is where we can do an overflow or a backwash if we need to wash anything here yeah this is the second one these are the shrouds i'm going to put them later to keep away sand especially big rocks from clogging this two inch pipe and all these fittings here are not glued they are just um, fitting by hand yeah they are not glued at all all of them are not glued so um, this is the energy consumption of uh, the airlift pump and this pump too this is to provide oxygen for the tilapias in here this is our nursery pond this is where we'll raise them to a reasonable level before we put them in here so this can hold anywhere between 150 to 200 bed, uh, uh, catfish we're going to put in catfish here too to raise them to about one kg above and um, I think um, with this filtration system we're going to handle whatever waste those catfish we produce and also with our Ikuku Miri D12 water pump we're going to handle whatever solid system throws at us this can be backwashed and cleaned in less than five minutes this filter now this entire system takes about uh, let's see what we'll get here from our water meter it's not a guesswork uh, the current stable like this 210 volt 215 system takes about 16 17 let's just say 18 watts let's just say 18 watts this is about 3 watts 2 point something and the other air lift pump the other air pump that is here takes 15 watts i've measured it so the two of them together you get 17.7 or let's just say 18 you know run number look at it again so you can see both of them takes 18 watts yeah. so uh, this will run off solar. We have solar here in the farm. We are almost living off grid. Even though the power lines are here, but we barely get any electricity. So, I'm going to set it on a timer later so that these guys can run for some time and also rest at some times. It's not supposed to be running two for seven like the traditional aquaponics. So this is more energy efficient, guys. Much more energy efficient. And of course, clear out all the plumbing pipes much later. So, there's a big improvement here from the first installation. Very big improvement. Yeah. And I'm going to make good use of this garden to grow a lot of food for the house yeah so I remember where i'm going to remove this just to enable me you know sit and uh, walk on the sand bed so i'm done with that 
I'm going to clear out all my tools and uh, start doing the final touches. Yeah. So I'm going to update how our garlic and ginger we grew up here. Nice and luscious in a few weeks from now. So that is just about it, guys. I'll send in another video as soon as I can. Let me wrap this up and get out of the beginning to drizzle here. Sign out.